Okay. Uh, I'm Gordon Ellis from Chemical Engineering Progress Magazine, and uh, this morning we have with us uh, Professor Roland Clift uh, from the University of Surrey, and he's also the president of the International Society for Industrial Ecology. He's delivering this year's, uh, the 2010 Dankworts Lecture at the AICHE Annual Meeting. Uh, welcome. Congratulations on the lecture. Okay. Thank you very much um, for inviting me. I, to start, uh, for the layperson, how, what are we talking about when we talk about industrial ecology? Okay, well, I'll interpret the layperson to mean the lay chemical engineer, yes. and of course that's why I'm here. And the way I'll, one of the ways I say this is that chemical engineering is about managing material and energy flows and transformations inside pipes and plant. An industrial ecology is about doing exactly that, but in the economy. So that's why I called the lecture Chemical Engineering Outside the Pipe. And the reason I find industrial ecology so fascinating, well, number one, it's essential. It's at the root of what we have to do to restructure the economy to make it sustainable. Chemical engineering has an absolutely central role in that, but a lot of chemical engineers don't know that. But of course it means interacting with a lot of other disciplines and that's where, for me, it gets fun. You have to be able to talk to social scientists, economists, uh, natural scientists, that kind of thing. So it's, it's very broad, cross-disciplinary subject, but chemical engineering is right at the heart of it. And the chemical engineers who attend your lecture today will find out how they fit into that. Picture. I hope they will, and I hope some of them at least will go away fired up by saying, yes, I want to get involved with this. And uh, are there a couple of key points that you'd like your audience to take away today? Yeah, I guess there are two. Um, the first and obvious one for the chemical engineers is that a lot of what we do is really material and energy balances very familiar to chemical engineers. That's why it's so easy for chemical engineers to get involved and so important for them to be involved. The other point I really think is important is this. Um, a lot of people misunderstand what is meant by sustainability or sustainable development. And another of my main points here is that when you're looking at sustainability, you cannot forget the social equity dimension. And that's the bit which maybe engineers find a bit hard to grasp. All right, and uh, so what, what should um, the new generation of chemical engineers be prepared to deal with? To well, your... for a start, I think they need to be prepared to get much more involved in public debate. You know, we hear this all the time, why aren't engineers listened to more? Well, a lot of the time it's because they don't actually raise their voices. And I think the engineering community, chemical engineering in particular, has a big role here because it's up to us to make sure that the public, politicians, policy makers, understand what is engineering, what is possible in technical and engineering terms. It really gets rather frustrating to me when you th meet politicians who think that technology can solve the planet's problems. On its own it can't, and we need to tell them what the limits are of technological possibility. Very good. Well, I'll let you, let you prepare for your lecture. Uh, uh, informally, are, are you planning to attend any other sessions at this meeting? Is there anything you're looking forward to? Yes, I'm, I'm particularly uh, planning to go to the particle technology sessions because before I got into this stuff, uh, I was involved with particle technology. In fact, I was the editor of powder technology for 10 years. Very good. Dr. Clift, thank you very much. Thank you very much, and thank you again for inviting me. Thank you.